Oh, hello there. You can see me on a boat ride listening to some reggae music. Probably copyrighted though. Well, tone it down a little. For this summer vacation, we decided to go to Malta, an island south of Italy. And the footage you are watching right now is somewhere here. Blue Lagoon next to a small island Camino. Our trip took seven days. Day one. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have much footage. Well, I don't have basically any from day one. A few things to mention. Our flight got delayed. Then we boarded the plane and we got delayed again. The delay caused us to arrive late, which means we missed our dinner. Pretty up setting at that moment. However, we managed to find a local Malta pub. Saved us with this lovely pizza and pretty good beer. Alright, let's continue with the day two and the blue lagoon. It is a wonderful place as you can see. Crystal clear blue water with wonderful scenery. This is a dream come true for some people. You can also explore this small island, finding some caves and so on. However, there is one issue here. As this was the second day of our trip and the sun was shining really strongly. Yeah, a trouble is brewing especially because there is no place to hide from it. So we spent the day in the lagoon and exploring on the boat, which resulted in some consequences. We got sunburned. This small thing will hold us for the rest of the trip. Day 3. We are feeling the pain of the sunburn. Yeah, now it's time to hide from the sun. There is no rest for the wicked. It's time to visit the capital city of Malta, Valletta. While we walk through the streets, let me explain something. It was quite hot in here. It was 34 degrees Celsius. But that wasn't the critical point. The critical one was the sun. Now, of course, enjoy the city we were trying to find places where there was no sunlight pretty hard at this point but it was hunt for the shadows now Valletta although it wasn't our favorite place we visited in Malta is still beautiful you can see most of the architecture here and it's quite interesting our favorite part was definitely the small park overviewing the harbor and I mean this is one of the best views you can get like look at this beauty then we got back to the place we lived and went for a small walk and i mean multiple leaves through the night i mean people just enjoying themselves but one crazy thing that we noticed on this island there's not many flying insects like look at the light poles in my country there would be like thousand flies around and with mosquitoes and so on but not here day four beach time but not for me for some reason although my girlfriend got burnt as well not as much so now she is in the sea while i'm living in shadows then you can see my happy face walking through the streets in the blistering heat with towel to reduce the sun time as much as possible now on your screen you can see aerial training 8 for world war 2 at this point i cannot still go to the water but at least i can get some burger surprisingly it costed only six years like some things like burgers and pizza are quite cheap here well at least not overpriced while I'm regaining my strength by eating yeah my girlfriend gets attacked by a snake at least that's what she described uh, this is how it should have looked probably not a specific type but anyway yeah as you can see there's uh, next to the sea there's some rocky places with really small vegetation and there the snake resides and the snake probably didn't attack it was just minding its own business day five people this is one of the best if not the best day we had i feel because we didn't expect much of it basically or at least i didn't and this trip was aimed to be chill so no high expectation this time we ventured to medina it's basically a medieval fortified city very game of thrones like and do you know what's even better game of thrones scenes were actually filmed here malta is actually a place where a lot of scenes for Game of Thrones were filmed and this place is one of these. For example, the entrance to the city was used in the series. And this place is great, it's very well maintained and the vibe of the city is something I have never felt. When you go further, you get a nice view of the surrounding area. And when you look behind, as I'm doing right now and recording, you can see the place where they shot Game of Thrones, the scene between Ned Stark and Jaime Lannister when they fought. This scene, as we had time left, we also visited the city and there we went to the famous catacombs. And this place is something else. It is a vast array of these catacombs spanning vast distances. Not only the size of this thing, but also the interior was maintained. If you could see where they would bury the people. And although I won't show it to you here, the place was huge. We went through the multiple catacombs, like tens of catacombs, but the amount of them was so high that it started to feel samey. Still very interesting. It just shows you how vast this place is. I don't know if you can, can get the idea how hot it is right now. The place is wonderful. But the sun is crazy. Day six. Yeah, we're churning again. This is really not a chill holiday or vacation or whatever you call it. We are on a boat. A big boat this time, however. We are currently traveling through the lanes 
to Gozo, the second biggest island of Malta. Oh, I nearly forgot to mention. We were trying to get to the ferry. Yeah, our bus was uh, um, waiting on us. Yeah, anyway, firstly, we were a bit confused if to do so, but at the end we took the double-decker bus. Yeah, the official tourist one that takes you over the island and shows you stuff. But surprisingly, it worked for us amazingly. We seen a bunch of cool places that normally we wouldn't have time for. And our first hop off was Victoria. And our aim was to visit the citadel. As you can see, more fortifications. Really quick on the topic, Malta, as any other European country, has a deep history of conflicts. Of course, the citadel was uh, made to protect the citizens. Gozo in medieval times and later was attacked by various attacks, eventually by Ottomans as well. There was so much pillaging during that time, people had to live in the citadel only and couldn't even visit the countryside. Of course, over the some period, uh, this has changed and people have moved back to the rural area. But one day, this was their only hope to survive. Yeah, I'm not balding, and at least I don't think so. Face and my hair definitely just shows how hot it is. We hop on the bus again, and I want to show you something like the wind on the bus was something else. You can see my hair going around pretty crazy. We also visited other beautiful places, but mostly what was the hype of this trip was the bus ride itself. This bus driver, or and the other, had to go through real tight spaces. And I mean, this was a masterclass of driving a bus. Yeah, and I mean, this was really intense for me. And when I drove a lorry myself, and not nearly as big as this bus. It was quite hard through narrow streets. I cannot imagine the skill that this takes. And this is one of the moments that I will remember for a long time. And the sunburn at this point was getting better. So at the end of this journey, although I don't have the photos, I actually managed to go to the sea again. So everything's good. Day 7, the last day. Hmm, what can I say? We visited a fishing village. It was quite of a bus journey. We had to first visit the Valletta and then go down, 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 down to Marsaklok. Nice vibe of the place, but honestly, it was the last day, very hot, and we expected a bit more. And I honestly got the worst calamari of my life. This kind of ruined my mood. I know it's fried calamari, but they really had to leave it in the fryer for like a one day. Nearly couldn't even get the fish taste. Mm. And what's missing? The trip back home. Oh, a good question. Yes, the plane was late again. Overall, a great holiday. I recommend it. But don't end up looking like me because I got really sick and I'm still using antibiotics right now. I even had an allergic reaction to it. My hands are a bit puffy and a rashed form. Lovely. Don't worry, I already swapped them. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like and i see you next time. Bye bye. And if you're interested in more traveling videos, you can check out, for example, this one. Czech Republic. Kostnica, a very interesting place.